welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Anshika Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Few patients receive opioid agonist therapy after opioid overdose, despite benefits. In the week following any hospital visit for an overdose, only 1 in 18 people with opioid use disorder begin a treatment known to be highly effective in reducing illness and deaths according to a new research in Canadian Medical Association. These results highlight critical missed opportunities to prevent future mortality and morbidity related to opioid use despite connection to healthcare for many patients in the days after a toxicity event, writes Dr. Tara Gomes, a researcher at ICES and St. Michael Hospital, part of Unity Health Toronto with co-authors. Opioid use disorder is a major public health issue with an almost threefold increase in opioid related emergency department visits between 2016 and 2021 in Ontario and a 32% increase in related hospitalizations in Canada. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Lung Nodule Program provides benefits patients ineligible for lung cancer screening. Adopting a lung nodule program may increase the detection of early lung cancer for patients who are not eligible for lung cancer screening under existing age eligibility criteria according to a study published in the Journal of Thoracic Oncology, an official journal of the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer. LNPs are established to follow up on lung nodules that are frequently identified during routine imaging for reasons other than suspected lung cancer or lung cancer screening. Low-dose computer tomographic screening for lung cancer has been shown to reduce mortality by up to 20%. However, even after lowering the age of eligibility from 55 to 50 years, most persons diagnosed with lung cancer in the US are ineligible for lung cancer screening. LNPs, which typically use Fleshner Society Lung Nodule Management Guidelines, expand access to early lung cancer detection to a more diverse population. Healthful Vegetarian Diet May Improve Insomnia Fine Study A recent cohort study, the Zushi Health Study, sheds light on the potential link between dietary patterns and insomnia risk, uncovering intriguing findings about the benefits of plant-based diets in reducing the likelihood of developing insomnia. This study was published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition by Zhu, Huagan and colleagues. Researchers aim to explore whether plant-based diets, especially Vegetarianism could influence the risk of insomnia. Over 5,800 participants without prior insomnia were enrolled in the study from 2007 to 2009 and followed up until 2018. Two distinct dietary classification methods were employed, traditional categorization into vegetarianism and non-vegetarians in a healthful plant-based index to gauge adherence to plant-based dietary patterns. Incident cases of insomnia were tracked by linking participant data with the National Health Insurance Research Database. Thank you, that's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.